Hey, Jeff Kelderman here, Kelderman Trucks. Today we got ourselves a 20, 21 Ram 3500. A uh, customer uh, had a specific blue that he wanted us to use for the accents. So that's what's cool when you work with us. You know, if you got a motorcycle, a car, or whatever you have that you want a specific color for your accent colors, you can send us that color and we'll match it up for you. So on the front of the truck, we took out the factory headlights and went with these Alpha Rex headlights. What's cool about these things is they're all blacked out, gets rid of all the chrome that came with the factory headlights. So then we did our Kelderman grill and our Delta series front bumper. What we have here is it's color matched so that the same amount of metallic that's in the factory paint is in the bumpers. We've got our midnight series 20 inch in the center. We got our four inch lights in the outside. We got our, our blue uh, custom painted monster hooks that match perfectly with the Circle K logo. So for the suspension on this, we went with our Kelderman five to six inch kit. We've got our Kelderman tuned shocks, which makes this thing ride fantastic. You know, we spent a lot of time working with Raptor shocks up in Minnesota to get ourselves uh, a high quality American made shock, uh, you know, to give us the best ride quality we could with the air suspension. Um, we did a matte black powder coat on all the suspension. We've also got our Kelderman radius arms, which are, uh, you know, stronger than the factory ones and they, they look so much better you don't have all the cheese holes in it like they do from ram so um then we got our backing plate and then our circle k with the same uh color blue that we went with on the theme of this truck we did some 37 and a half inch open country mts and then we got 24 inch matte black american force wheels and just like everything else we popped off the uh, american force and the star logo and painted it the blue accent color so the five to six inch lift on the rear of this thing is a real heavy duty setup. We use a large sway bar, uh, you know, because it's designed to carry heavy loads. We also use the same airbag as we use on the Ford 450 uh, rear air ride suspension. I mean, the axle rating on these 350 Rams is, is not that much off the, the 450 Fords. So, uh, you know, just like the front, we've got our tuned shocks. So we've got a, a, a nice quality ride, but yet we have the ability to haul, you know, a heck of a lot of weight. And uh, you know, just like the fronts, we got the we got the American Force uh, 24 inch rims that are matte black with the with the blue accents in the in the Toyo tires. Come around here, we also have uh, this is a, a product MBRP makes just for us. It's a black tailpipe. Um, that's something you can you know get on our website and just just purchase straight from us. We've got our Alpha Rex tail lights, um, same deal as we described before. You know, no chrome in this. You know, with that blacked out look. The rear bumper on this, we've got our Alpha series with our uh, monster hooks that we that we painted the blue. And uh, as you can see, you know, guy's got a heavy duty Gen Y hitch to pull his big bumper hitch trailer, which is why he wanted the air suspension because of the heavy loads he's, he's hauling. Back where the spare tire went, we've got our 3H control system. We got a pair of Vire compressors in there. We've got a dryer to keep the moisture out. We've got two three gallon tanks. and. Uh, now we are building our own uh, air tanks uh, in-house. So that, that's another thing we're real excited about. We've invest, invested in a bunch of new equipment this year and we're building our own air tanks. Um, and then underneath the 3H, um, there's the blue, blue bracket here that uh, has the mounts for the uh, horn blasters. So we've got kind of got a whole, whole package that all bolts together in a nice little uh, um, well-engineered area to make everything look very clean on this install. So as I mentioned in earlier, you know, we invested in some new equipment, making our own air tanks. We got a tube laser now. We got, you know, rotisserie welders and all that stuff. Some other uh, fun stuff that engineering's been doing is uh, a lot more in our 3D printed stuff. So uh, we've got a couple new 3D printers. And uh, so like this guy right here, you know, this truck didn't come with upfitter switches. So we've got, you know, we got our horn blasters, we got our, our, our 20 inch bar, we got our wing bar, we got lights in the grill. So um, rock lights, we got all this stuff. So what we did is we put a Switch Pro in here and then we made a 3D printed piece that bolts right in here in that little little tray. So, uh, I mean, you can still put a few pencils or something up in there, but what's cool about this is, you know, right there, you know, we can start turning our lights on right here. You know, you see that guy driving along, staring at his phone, not paying attention to the road. You come up to him, wake him up. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of cool features of that. And then uh, another thing we also do now is, uh, 
you know, pretty much all the trucks we do anymore, we just pop out the sunglasses case up here and we put the 3H mount up there. It's out of the way, you know, no more, you know, suction cups falling off the window and uh, some of those other, you know, deals, Velcro sliding in the, in the heat. So, you know, kind of, you know, upgrading our fit and finish, making some cool stuff, you know, making the installs cleaner, you know, we're always trying to make the, make the, uh, the job look better and uh, we'll continue to come out with new 3D printed stuff, you know, as time goes by. So this truck's gonna reside in the Knoxville, Tennessee area. So y'all over there in uh, Eastern Tennessee, keep an eye out for this bad boy.